I just got this uh, this remote. Guys, I've been hiding under a rock. I should have had this from day one. I don't want to turn you guys off right now, but it's a game changer. I know, amateur hour, right? It's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Move on. Move on. Today, I wanted to come on and run you through exactly how I organize for each project. I do this every single time, and it took me took me a little while to get to this process, but I have found that it helps so much. When you're organized, and I, I love being organized, like I'm just, everything in its place, everything has its place, don't take it out of that place. You just have a, a better mental mindset. Getting messages, well, I'm trying to record here. I should probably turn my messages off. I feel like you have a better mindset going into a project when you're well organized. I learned the hard way because a lot of the projects I did early on uh, were super unorganized. Like I was trying to find clips over here, up here, down here, and then I was organizing in the editing program and it just, it was a big mess. Not fun, there's gotta be a better way. There is, I'm gonna show you. And everyone has their own system, but if you're looking for a system, I highly recommend it, I love it. It's easy. I'm gonna show you both in Premiere and Final Cut. Pretty similar, very similar in fact. We're gonna jump over to the main editing station. Hope you guys get something out of it. Here we go. Oh yeah, see, I already forgot. I can use this uh, cool remote. Let's go into the Samsung first. And I wanna show you guys how I used to just throw everything in. It's my ice climbing project. As you can see, I mean, there is no rhyme or reason. I got several different projects going on here. I got the final project. Like it's just not, it doesn't look good. It's not organized. It's a mess. Now what I do is I create a file structure. From here, I will copy and paste these seven folders into a new folder every single time. Number one, video. Number two, audio. Number three, music. Number four, sound effects. Number five, photos. Six, miscellaneous, different files that I'm pulling in. Uh, we'll go through that in more detail. And number seven, your final products, okay? Could be several final products. Could be final videos, could be final photos. Within these, I will create sub folders. So this is the initial step. Step number one is to organize outside of the editing pro editing programs. Um, that way you're organized once you get into the editing programs and you'll see how that all kind of flows in very nicely. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the ice climbing project. Back here, I recommend just creating a file structure folder. There's nothing in these. They're just blank folders, but then I can quickly control A or Command A, Control C, Command C, and then paste them into my new project folder. This ice climbing folder, we're just gonna organize it real quick. So we're gonna right click and sort this by kind. If you haven't visited this project in a while, you're not gonna know what this stuff is. So let's clean this up, figure it out, jeez. Okay, so we're gonna paste our new folders in. Now we're nice and clean here. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna open climb and see what's in here. Okay, I got photo. So these are clearly in the wrong spot. So these are all my photos that were taken for this project. So we're gonna move that into folder number five. Photo. We're just gonna move all these into here. It should go pretty quick because they're in the same folder. Okay, so here is what I was talking about with breaking it down by camera or by person. So hold in had three different cameras going. Under our video folder, we're not gonna worry about A-roll and B-roll for this project specifically. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder that says Drew. I'm gonna have my Mavic out here. Holden, I'm just gonna copy all of his into his folder. So we're just gonna drag and drop that in. Conversation box style one. But we're gonna put that in miscellaneous. This is kind of that catch all where you just, you want to, we want to get everything down to just these seven folders. So I have an audio file. So this is Pluralize. If you guys haven't heard of Pluralize, link it down in the description. Highly recommend it for syncing multiple audio tracks to multiple cameras. I mean, it does a fantastic job of syncing your audio to your camera. 
So now we have a project file that is, whew, look at that, so much cleaner. Now I know where I'm going, I know what's going on here. Click on video, I can go, okay, I'm, I know this was shot from Holden that day. This is Osmo, we're gonna go through that footage. But now we're organized to bring this footage in to the project. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull up a Premiere project file and a Final Cut project file. We're just gonna split the screen in half here. We got Premiere on the bottom and we have Final Cut on the top. As you can see, I had all this footage, but now it's all out of whack. So everything's missing files, missing files, missing files, which that sucks. That's not fun. Now I gotta go through and fix it. We're gonna go to relink files, and now we're just gonna try and go to where all those files are stored in the Samsung T5, Scott Ice Climb, choose. Let's see how long this takes. They're all in there, all accounted for, but now we're back. Not too big of a process, and it does a good job of relinking and it finds the files, but now we're, now we're set up, we're in a good spot. Close this library, and now what we're gonna do is we have two blank slates. So here is my Final Cut screen and here is my Premiere Pro screen. All right, so both you can see are kind of a similar design. All right, so we're gonna come in here. We're gonna import some media into our Premiere project. We're just gonna take one folder for right now. So I have the two cameras in here, but I wanna pull this folder. So we're gonna import that. That's gonna go a lot quicker. Uh, for right now for the purpose of this video. So we have two items. This is our bin my two subfolders within there So then I can go there and now though the GoPro footage is already organized in there I have my bins up here. My a7 3 footage is already in there. So imagine Having to recreate right click in your project organizing right click new bin and then you got to create type it in and just copy and paste outside of the editing program and it automatically brings it in for you. Time saver, I'm telling you. Organize before, name your clips before you get into the editing software because it's just gonna be so much easier. When you get into the editing software, you should just be going, just cruising. Same thing for Final Cut. All right, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna import the same, uh, actually, let's do some different footing. Let's go into video, hold in and I'll import his. Okay, so what Final Cut Pro does that's a little different than Premiere is you have events. And so this is an event and under this event will be your keyword organization. You can really set this up however you want. I hope you guys are following along. So these are just, those are the initial ways that I organize once I get in. And you can see right here, now I am fully, let's go all clips. I have Holden, Osmo, S1. So Holden is gonna capture all three of these, Osmo, S1, and S1H. All of my footage is organized based on how I organize it at the beginning. So you really don't have to do a lot. The only other organizing I'll really do inside of the editing product project is color coding. And what color coding does for me is just once I put it out on the timeline, it just kind of, it, it helps me understand what part of the project is being used any given time during the timeline. So we have our project here in Final Cut. We're gonna start with Final Cut and then I'll move to Premiere so you guys can see this a little better. So we're gonna throw this in here. So there's my green, my S1. We're gonna pull this in. There's my red my Osmo, and here is my orange. Feel free to mess around with it. Feel free to organize how you think would work best for you, but this just this just helps me visually to see what I have going on in the timeline. Okay, so that's Final Cut. Now let's jump into Premiere. All the GoPro footage, I want one color. The A7 III footage, I'm gonna do another color. So we're kind of color coding this based on the camera. Again, I'm gonna hit Command A to select them all, and I'm gonna right click and label these, we'll just say purple. And we're gonna go back here. Let's do our A7 III footage as, uh, we'll go teal. So now we have teal and purple. The more your timeline builds and gets 
bigger, you're gonna have all these different colors, but a quick way to glance at your timeline and just see what's going on is being able to see color codes and, and being able to color code according to a certain system. This was actually a question I got on my thousand video. How do I organize my footage coming into a project specifically? So I'm trying to create more videos that you guys are requesting. I hope you got something out of it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Hope you have a good rest of the week and we'll see you in the next one.